Welcome to the tutorial video for our Fileless Pro add-on for Concrete 5. Uh, this uh, add-on is a block that allows you to display a list of files on uh, any page on your website. Uh, it It is basically a jQuery add-on uh, that is that uses an Ajax interface here which includes a pagination interface, uh, a search, an Ajax search interface and also a sort and filter feature. Um, and also for each file type uh, there's a coordinating uh, icon that is associated with it automatically so uh, let's say you know you and it supports up to 25 of these currently um, if you want to if there's ones that are not listed or not supported at this time just simply send us a message and we'll we'll add those in in future versions um, but these file these icons will list or display automatically like say if it's a zip file it'll show a zip icon and there's a few other sets of icons too that will be included and, and also in future versions you'll be able to select what style of icon and and, uh, and a variety of other new features that will be added so be sure to check back uh, as we improve this um, uh, so let's uh, take a look here at how the search works let's say we want to search for uh, say a zip file we can do that and it will show you know a zip or perhaps maybe a, a regular keyword uh, let's say owl uh, there's a file in here that includes the word owl in it and again you know this is an mp3 file uh, here and it will show for that so you can also you know just do simple letters go and that will you know, show whatever comes up typically by the file type is what it usually looks at there so it works just like a search thing uh, let's say you enter a full word that may not be available or may not match. So this is what shows up if, if there's no matching uh, word for that or keyword or anything that matches that search term. This will show up so this allows you to simply view all of them again. Uh, now the sort feature, uh, this allows you to sort by name or by type uh, you can change it to set by ascending or descending uh, value um, so if this is descending as you can see it starts at W and it goes down so uh, you can also do the same thing with the type ascending or descending uh, you can also sort it by filter um, and uh, this allows you to, let's say you want to have uh, PNG emitted so by default this will show everything but let's say you don't want uh, JPEGs and you don't want PNGs to show up. Uh, we'll get rid of those. Uh, let's say we want to also get rid of, uh, let's say, a, a GIF file. So as you can see, it does that live uh, instantly. So it's very fast. It's very simple and lightweight. Uh, it's easy to navigate and play around with here on the front end. Uh, now let's take a look at the the block uh, and how you edit this. Now when you're in edit mode you may see uh, a standard list. Uh, it'll lo likely look different in in edit mode just so you know. Uh, now by default if you set this to zero or if you leave this blank it will show all files but you can also customize the number there. If, if a number of files from each set that you want to show. Let's say you have a, a hundred files within a file set um, you can show, you know, however, you can set it to say maybe show only 50 of those or something. So uh, it's customizable that way. Uh, you can also change the default order sorting, uh, set order alphabetical, date added, newest or oldest first, wh whatever you want to do there. Uh, this also allows you to replace underscores with spaces, um, you know, within the file name. Uh, so you can change how it how it actually displays and. Uh, you can do the same thing like say with the file extension let's say we want to always show the file extension or perhaps maybe we want to hide hide it in this case so let's change it to that uh, then now on the design tab this allows you to specify how many files per page within the pagination interface you can do so right now it's set to five so let's change that down to three uh, and then you can you know turn the file set title off or on if you want you can do the same thing with the file size so let's add that in let's add uh, also the date added and uh, 
Also for the interface you can change it to hidden or visible. So let's turn off the files, uh, the filter and the sort options. Let's save that. And now in edit mode you may see, again like I say, you, you may see this uh, happen, which is normal. Uh, go ahead and publish that and then this is what you'll see. We've turned off the sort and filter. Uh, we've now added the file uh, size and also the data added so you'll see that this has been appended to that and uh, so yeah and we've now we also have it set to three pages so it created a new page to support there's around a dozen files on here or so and uh, so yeah and we've left the search on so it's very straightforward very simple uh, and it's very easy to use so if you have any questions uh, support questions or anything like that uh, or suggestions for improvement be sure to contact us and uh, so thank you for watching